You know, I am forever grateful for this game, Final Fantasy VII, released on the PlayStation. Not that it's my favorite Final Fantasy game by any means. It's not. I know it's a good game. A lot of people love it. Not my favorite out of the series. I really am more of an older school fan. Well, maybe not this shit, but you, you get the drift. I love Final Fantasy. And my love for this is for one reason and one reason only, and that is because it was not released on the Nintendo 64. Originally, that is what we thought. Everybody was like, oh my God, Final Fantasy VII is coming on cartridge all over your face for the Nintendo 64. And it didn't happen. Nintendo Power led us to believe this was going to happen when the system was still called the Ultra 64 with their damn articles teasing this little uh, interactive demo that they had made, that Squaresoft had made with, you know, some silicon graphics engine and whatnot it, it was a neat little demo but it got blown out of proportions they took final fantasy 6 or what we knew as 3 back in the day and you know polygonized it and made a little demo and boom it's coming to nintendo because that's all we knew all the final fantasies were on nintendo i had a sega saturn when disc-based gaming started becoming popular i love final fantasy so it was only obvious I had to play Final Fantasy VII, so that is why I'm grateful. Because it caused me to buy a PlayStation 1. And PlayStation 1 is one of my favorite consoles of all time. There are so many awesome games for it. This is definitely one of them, but it's not at the top of my list. That is why I'm happy that this game left Nintendo. But now, Final Fantasy VII on an actual cartridge, like all of us who are fooled to believe was going to happen way back in the day. The Nintendo Switch. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII has been released digitally plenty of times. And you know how it is with Nintendo stuff going on nowadays. Plenty of companies, a lot of games never get a physical release. This right here is a Southeast Asian released version of the game, complete in English. There is no indication that this is some kind of Asian copy here. Everything's in English back here. It, it even, uh, let me focus here, it even lists the, uh, the languages there. Japanese, English, French, German, Spanish. Spanish text, though. I don't know why they had to differentiate that, but okay. This freaking bastard is in English, and we finally have Final Fantasy VII on a cartridge for a Nintendo console. I think that is pretty funny. This I bought on Play Asia. It just brought back so many memories going back, looking at Nintendo Power, getting amped up. The Nintendo 64 many fond memories of that system there was a lot of great games for it but there was also not as many great games as we would have hoped for first party games legit you're not going to go wrong with zelda mario kart that kind of stuff but we didn't get anything that you know we were hoping for it just didn't happen they stuck to those cartridges which were fine at the time nintendo could control every aspect of this everybody else they wanted to go to the discs and that's just how it went. Nintendo wasn't going for it. Hey, made me a fan of PlayStation. But here we go. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing and check it out. See how it looks on the Nintendo Switch. What kind of options we have? Because both of these games are on the cartridge. That's the way they did it. Pretty cool stuff. Go ahead and uh, scratch this bish open. I know this, this video is a little out of the norm for me. I'm just having a little fun here. But yeah, just it had me scouring through my previous Nintendo Power issues because when I received this the other day, I remembered, I was like, dude, this is kind of funny that this is now on a cartridge and we were all hoping for it to be on a cartridge back in the day. We didn't know any better, you know what I mean? We grew up, we know what's going on. You know, we evolve as gamers. I loved Nintendo back in the day, but I played pretty much everything, but we were one console household. We couldn't afford everything. So we had an Atari 2600, we had an NES. Super Nintendo came out, had to jump on that. Boom. And then it just went on from there. Um, you know, you kind of went along with, with what you knew. And I knew Nintendo until the PlayStation came out. Like I said, I did have a Saturn, but didn't have a ton of games for that. But here we go. Nothing on the inside of this. Uh, disappointing, no manual. Here's the game. Final Fantasy VII and VIII. So... We're going to go ahead and pop that in. I do wish it, you know, oh shit. See, now I'm busting this and this is like a pristine ass copy. Like, I love this manual. I really did. Like, if we had like, you know, manuals nowadays, 
I know we'd have to kill some more trees, but man, like I think the plastic is more of an issue than the uh, <laughs> the paper, but ah, it is what it is, man. I miss this kind of stuff. But let's pop this little fella in and take a look. Let's do it. All right, so on the Switch, I do find this kind of interesting. I've heard of other games doing this as well. Both of them are on the cartridge. They're not downloaded here. Final Fantasy VIII, it's downloading an update, but it is on the cartridge. The game is on the cartridge. You could start this without the update. Uh, Final Fantasy VII, there was nothing to download, uh, but you could tell they're on the cartridge. You have that cartridge icon on both games, and I think it's neat that they broke them up that way uh, instead of just you know going into a main menu to select which game you want to play. You just click on one. So we're going to take a look at seven. Um, I don't have too many fond memories of eight. I do have fond memories of a good friend of mine back in the day. Uh, when this came out, he was playing Final Fantasy VIII like nonstop. He became a recluse. It's kind of sad. But it was uh, during a time where this guy's parents had divorced and his mom had left. I don't know what the heck happened. Um, they used to live in like a huge ass house. And then, you know, he was living with his dad in a little dingy apartment. It, it kind of sucked. Uh, you know, I tried to go hang out with the dude, you know, give him some company, you know, chill, that kind of thing. But uh, he was just too far gone. I, I guess he was just really uh, hit by his parents uh, separating. So that, that kind of sucked. But that's that's the only memory. I tried hanging out with the dude, sitting there watching him play Final Fantasy VIII. Because um, I, I didn't get the game when it first came out. Because I was like, ah, I don't know. But that's really all I remember. I did eventually buy it. Uh, but it just really wasn't for me. Additional credits, what's this? Oh, so we have additional credits for whoever ported this, I would suppose? Is that what this is? Huh. Well, that's, that's cool, I guess. Let's get out of that. Just jump into the game real quick, just for a minute. Ah, it gives you a little boom, this is how you play. These are the buttons, because we couldn't give you a manual to explain this stuff with some cool artwork, maybe some backstory. All right, let's 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 take a look at this. I always love this intro. Um, you know, the Super Nintendo games were my favorites. Uh, you know, I, I really do want to give this game another shot. You know, I don't really care that they they are remaking Final Fantasy VII. I know a lot of people are amped up for that. I just want to play the classic game and. You know, I did, I did finish this way back in the day. I just don't remember much of it because it was like the only like Final Fantasy that I liked but didn't revisit, if you know what I mean. Like, it's not my favorite, but I did like it, but I've never revisited it. I've revisited the other games, um, 2 and 3 on the Super Nintendo, plenty of times. Uh, the Final Fantasy games, well, they weren't really Final Fantasy games, but... The Final Fantasies on the Game Boy, um, the re-releases of some of these games I've revisited, you know, that kind of thing. I played Final Fantasy XI, you know, the online game was addicted to that, but, you know, I did replay quite a bit of these games, including 9 as well, but 7 I just never went back to, and I, I, I really should. This may be a good time to just jump into it, maybe start my streaming career and just start playing some Final Fantasy VII and hanging out with you guys. It's just kind of a game where you can kick back, chat, yeah, you know, talk it up a little bit. You don't have to be all crazy into it where you're gonna die because you looked at the chat for a second. But there we go. I'm I'm happy that I bought this. I believe shipped. I always pay the extra price with uh, with Play Asia because I want it to be tracked. I want to know I'm gonna get the damn thing in a reasonable amount of time. I believe I paid around 60 something dollars for this cartridge. Shouldn't have been that much. They should have released it in the US in this form, but these mofos didn't, unfortunately. So PlayAsia is always the, the one I have to go check on these releases. You'll find a lot of stuff that like limited run games releases um, that you can't get, or you gotta wait a half a year or longer to get but it was released in Southeast Asia in English, and you can get it there for a reasonable price, that kind of thing. So I'm always jumping on Play Asia, taking a look at them. Highly recommended, um, but you will pay a little bit more than, than you would hope, I, I would imagine. I mean, I do pay a little bit more than what I would like, but I don't buy too many games, just a handful here and there. But here we go, we got, you know, little sharper visuals. Uh, I, I mean, it's got some kind of smoothing going on here. Doesn't 
doesn't look horrible, but I think I kind of prefer to just play this in the PlayStation 1, maybe. Um, but it's, you know, it's Final Fantasy 7. A little bit more crispy graphics here. Not too bad. So I'm digging it, guys. Let me know what you think. Like I said, this is a little out of the, uh, the norm for me, this style of video. Just winged it, you know, just wanted to chat it up. Hang out with you guys for a minute. Hear what you guys got to say. So drop a comment down below. I read all the comments. Really do appreciate you guys. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.